Hi everyone, welcome back to Dave's Math Channel. Uh, I'm your host David Tear, and today this is my eighth lesson on derivatives and today I'm going to talk about another instance of the power rule. So far I think it was on the second lesson on derivatives. I derived the power rule for non-negative integer n. Well today I'm going to derive it for arbitrary integers and negative as well as positive. So we've already taken care of the non-negative case so we just have to take care of the negative case now. So let's begin. So here's the power rule. Here's what it says. I already did this slide. I think you know it. Uh, if f of x is, uh, is x to the n, now we're assuming n can be an arbitrary uh, integer, negative or positive, then uh, the derivative is uh, nx to the n minus 1. Actually, n doesn't even have to be an integer. It turns out n can be an arbitrary real number or even an arbitrary imaginary number. We will do arbitrary real numbers in a few lessons, by the way. Uh, we're not going to talk about imaginary exponents um, in this series. That's more for complex analysis, but it is true for complex exponents as well, in case you're curious. So how, how do we prove it for negative exponents? Well, it's actually using the machinery we have now, it's pretty simple. We just apply the, uh, the reciprocal rule, which is a special case of uh, the, um, of the um, quotient rule. And uh, um, so here's the derivation. We suppose, we're supposed to assume that um, n is now a negative integer. So now we're going to call n equal minus m. It's easier to work with positive integers, so we just write m as the negative of n, which is positive. So let's do it. Uh, the derivative of f of x, I'm using Leibniz's notation here, is equal to the derivative of x to the n which is the same as derivative of 1 over x to the m. Remember, x to the n is x to the minus m, which is also the same as 1 over x to the m. But we know how to calculate derivatives of reciprocals. That's the reciprocal rule, which I think I wrote down a few uh, lessons ago. It's a special case of the quotient rule. I may as well tell you what it says. The reciprocal rule says that the derivative of 1 over f of x for an arbitrary differentiable function f of x is equal to minus f prime of x over f of x quantity squared. So, you know, remember that rule. It's a pretty easy rule to memorize. And it is a special case of the quotient rule. So in this case, our, our function is just x to the m. And so now we're going to get the derivative in the numerator. Remember, we have to negate the whole thing. So we're going to get minus the fraction whose numerator is the derivative of uh, x to the m, which is mx to the m minus 1. We know that because m is not, is, is not negative. And uh, we also have x to the m quantity squared in the denominator. That's what we have on the third line. And then we could just do a little simplification. Uh, I'm sure you guys know uh, that when you uh, raise a, a power to another power, you just multiply the powers. So the denominator is really just x to the 2m. So now we have minus mx to the m minus 1 over x to the 2m. Well, we know we also know that we can subtract 2m from the uh, exponent of the numerator, that's going to give us minus m x to the minus m minus 1. And now replacing minus m with n, we just get n x to the n minus 1. Voila. So it works for negative exponents as well as non-negative exponents, which is nice. And just a couple examples I show on the bottom of this slide. The derivative of 1 over x is minus 1 over x squared. That's kind of worth memorizing just because you see it a lot especially in physics. <laughs> and then uh, derivative of 1 over x squared is minus 2 over x cubed. I think you see how this pattern is going to continue. The derivative of 1 over x cubed is minus 3 over x the fourth, so on. So uh, anyway, that's how you differentiate negative powers, negative integer powers. And that concludes uh, my lesson for today. Thank you for watching. Long live math, and I'll see you guys next time.